Welcome to this Caruta 2.0 presentation. My name is Jacques Reynaud. I'm a member of the Caruta team. Caruta is a very flexible open source uh, portfolio solution. We're really excited about the new functionalities in the version 2. So in this short video, I will present an overview of a typical assessment portfolio based on the AACU value rubrics. This is just an example. You can do any other type of portfolio, assessment portfolio with Caruta, which is very flexible. So I'm just going to uh, log in as a student to show you how it, a portfolio will look like in this case. So I'm just uh, logging in here. So this is a welcome page. Uh, Caruta is multilingual, so you can have uh, portfolios in many languages and you can switch. Uh, they can be bilingual, by, the, by example, so that's kind of very handy. Students here can change their password and here they can log out. This is if they want to refresh their, you know, the, the information in their portfolio. And here, this is kind of special. This is a sort of uh, a, a social network based on ELG, the open source uh, solution. Uh, so Caruta can work with this uh, social uh, network, but uh, if you don't want it, you can turn it off. It's not required. So. I'm going to sort of get to my uh, my portfolio as a student, and this is the welcome page. Uh, every portfolio in Caruta has a welcome page that sort of explain to the student, I mean, what what they're doing, and you can put information about you know useful information, give guidance, and everything. So that's kind of very handy. So this is the menu here. Uh, and I can uh, I can sort of hide it by clicking here. Uh, by the way, these uh, this page can be customized very easily, so you can change the, the images, the colors, the text. Everything is is uh, customizable. So my student portfolio has a profile page, so I can this is this is like I'm asking students like basic information. This is just an example. You can add whatever you want in the, in this page. So here we're asking for the first name, so the student just has to click on the pencil and, and put the information. You can input a picture, you can uh, choose a, a major here, uh, put its professional object objective. So this page can be customized uh, to your needs. So this, uh, this part is the rubric. So it comes from another a file, so this is not really part of the student portfolio, so it's it, it's sort of uh, put it put in there by by a sort of proxy. Uh, so what it does, it sort of explain all the uh, the rubrics, the ACU rubrics, the American uh, Association for College and University work. So here you have like civic engagement is the first learning outcome. This is the definition, and here what you get is what they call the characteristics or the learning criteria, so like diversity of communities and cultures, analysis of knowledge, and uh, civic and identity. So if for each one of these characteristics, there are like rubrics and their level. So capstone four is you know the best one, uh, and this is what describes what capstone four is. Milestone here, uh, benchmark one, so this is a basic, the very basic uh, level here. So everything can be inputted there. Uh, you can check other uh, Karuta videos to see how it can be done. Uh, so this is like the, the very basic building blocks of this uh, portfolio because all the rubrics are, are there. So the students can check his, uh, his progression in, in, in his uh, assessment portfolio by clicking, for example, here. You can see that uh, he's done civic engagement. He's got all the evaluation for the first three. Critical thinking, that's fine. But, whoa, it's, there's something missing, like inquiry and analysis. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go as a student, click on learning outcome here, and I'm going to uh, go to inquiry and analysis, and I'm going to, to sort of complete the information. So. I have here the definition of, of this learning outcome. It comes from the rubric uh, file that I described before. 
So then I, I ask the student, the portfolio asks the student to submit proofs of their learning. So there are instructions here, so the students can, you know, check and see what are the, the directives. And here it says that uh, uh, I, sh I, I can add any evidence uh, regarding my this learning outcome. It could be a document, an image, an URL. So I'm going to add a document here. So I just have to click on this uh, pencil and uh, and go and get uh, a file. So I'm going to get, let's see, uh, document five. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm asked to put a name. So I, I'd said evidence for critical thinking. It can be anything here. So I'm going to close that. The document is here. And here there's a submit button. So if I'm all set, I think the document is, is ready. It, it's OK. If I click on submit, it's going to sort of freeze that. I won't be able to make any changes. So that's very helpful in, in portfolios because you want to, you know, make sure that the students have submitted their files and there will be no change anymore. So this is what I'm doing. So it's been submitted. Uh, there's a date. So everything is fine. And then I I have to reflect on my learning. So I'm not so here there's a I click on the pencil again and I uh, I can reflect on my learning. So I'm not going to type anything very very long here just to show you how it works. So here it is. So I'm all set. I've sort of put a document here. I've put some reflection. I'm going to request an evaluation. So because I'm done, this is Caruta is quite flexible about that. It's got very nice feature about sharing information in your portfolio at different levels. So I'm going to request uh, an evaluation here and an email has been sent to my instructor. So I can I can uh, move on here. By the way, yeah, this is like uh, nothing has been inputted so far. So I'm going to log out and log in as an instructor. Oops, instructor. Because I've received the email and uh, I'm going to log in and check. Uh, what the students uh, have done. So I've, I have this student that I'm following, so I'm going to click on, on his portfolio. I have uh, the same welcome page. This is the same portfolio, but uh, I'm going to sort of go there. And I see that uh, the student, actually I can, I can go on the dashboard, by the way. I can check uh, the summary. I can check the scores. I, I can see that I have, haven't done any evaluation for the last two learning outcomes. So uh, that's kind of uh, useful there. So I'm going to go back here. And and I can post comments this if I want, because there is a menu here. So it's click, and I can, have a, I can add a comment here. So this is a comment that I can add for, for my student. I can say, good work. Of course, it, it should be a little bit more elaborate. And what it it's nice. It's a comment. It posts like my my name and the date of the of the comment. That's kind of uh, interesting. So now I have Karuta can create very easily these sort of uh, table to so you can input your evaluation very easily. So it it uses the information co that comes from you know the rubric file that I mentioned. It sort of does some presentation. Uh, features. Uh, I mean, it sort of present this information in, in a very easy way. So here I'm going to to click on the different level that I think are appropriate here. Of course, it's I'm, I'm doing these things very quickly. So here it is. I'm, I've done the uh, I've done my evaluation. So I can come back, and if I want to see if it went fine, I can come back to this. Uh, to the summary page, and I can see that, yeah, I inputted my information, that's fine. I can even look at the table, a special table that has been created by, by Karuta using a report feature, where I can see that uh, all the student reflection, and I can also see my comments as an instructor. I can even see all the files that had been inputted by the student. So there are so many ways in Karuta that you can summarize the information that is part of the portfolio. 
so you can you know you can have a better inf a better sense of what the students are doing so this is the part of the instructor I'm going to show you a last thing I'm going to log in as a supervisor uh, if I was like a dean or someone in charge of all the department portfolios of all the uh, for all the students so I'm logging, logging in as a supervisor here and I have access to I mean here I would have access to different student portfolio I have only two here for simplicity so I'm going to log to this uh, summary portfolio admin report portfolio you see the different colors so it shows you that it can you can easily customize Kahuta to sort of uh, to fill your needs uh, I can go here on for example the overall report and I can have like the information that you know the the numbers that I've, you've seen before but I can have them by student now I can even have their picture so if I if I want a nice summary of that that's kind of interesting I can also uh, I mean I can get rid of the pictures can get the numbers only and then if I want to do further analysis of these information because uh, if I want to plot I want create graphs or I want to calculate fancy averages I want to compare students and things like that I can export this information uh, using the CSV uh, option here so what it does it sort of send all the information in an Excel file and uh, and from there I can, can create all sorts of summary statistics that I want so this is the route we've chosen in Kahuta so we sort of extract the information and you can you can access it uh, the way you want so this was a very short uh, presentation of uh, all the different steps of an assessment portfolio hope you've seen the, the the flexibility of Karuta everything that you've seen can be can be changed can be can be done differently uh, you can ask different workflow for students you can create different reports you can create different ways for the instructor to input the information so everything is really uh, flexible so you can see uh, further videos of Karuta to uh, get more information about how you could do this uh, these uh, use these functionalities